So Thanksgiving's only a week away, and all the cooking shows and all the home shows are trying to have celebrities on, trying to figure out what is the best Thanksgiving dinner. And they're coming up with all kinds of recipes for mashed potatoes, pumpkin pie, turkey. But Martha Stewart the other day had Snoop Dogg on. Uh, apparently they're good friends, and they go way back. Um, but when Snoop Dogg came on, he decided he wanted to make cognac mashed potatoes. And a word of advice, Snoop Dogg, uh, mashed potatoes by themselves, awesome. Cognac by itself, good drink. Uh, even cognac, you know, drinking cognac while eating mashed potatoes, all right, all right. But uh, cognac mashed potatoes, that's fucked up. What's going on, everybody? It's Wednesday, November 19th, and I want to talk about something that happened over the weekend. Now, I'm just going to throw out a huge secret about my whole entire life. I used to be a huge pro wrestling fan back when I was in high school, which really wasn't that long ago. Um, I'll say I was probably a big pro wrestling fan all the way up to about 2002, 2003, um, which leads me to talk about Brock Lesnar and his win against Randy Couture at UFC 91. Now, let me make one thing perfectly clear. I've never really followed MMA. I've never really been a huge fan of MMA. Um, but when somebody told me that Brock Lesnar was, was leaving wrestling and joining MMA, I kind of got a little interest. Um, I got a little, a little spark here in my heart that was like, I'm interested. Let me know. Let me know what goes on. Apparently he's had two fights, and then his third fight was for the World Heavyweight Championship against Randy Couture this past weekend at UFC 91. Now here's where the fun begins. Brock Lesnar wins the World Heavyweight Championship from Randy Couture, and the entire world goes apeshit. Apparently, it's completely ridiculous to think that a pro wrestler could do anything. But I don't know if anybody knew this. Jesse Ventura ran some shitty state up north for a couple of years. And also Dan Severn, who was a UFC fighter and held the UFC Heavyweight Championship for a while, also was the NWA champion in pro wrestling at the exact same time a couple of years back. So to me, it's just kind of ironic and funny that people are, are arguing, complaining about Brock Lesnar um, when all this other stuff with pro wrestling is happening and they're just focused in on this. But also then Dana White, who runs the UFC, I'm sure he's having a blast with all this because he's getting media coverage left and right about a pro wrestler winning an MMA fight for the heavyweight championship. And now he probably has the biggest star in MMA um, as well as the best bad guy, um, bad guy, you know, that they've had in the, ever in MMA. Because everybody wants to see Brock Lesnar lose now. So in reality, I think the joke is on you, the viewer, who loves MMA. Because you just got duped to buying an, a pay-per-view where the bad guy won, the guy you didn't want to win won. And now you're going to buy every pay-per-view from now on just to see him continue his streak of winning in hopes that he loses. So all I have to say is, you know, <laughs> you're retarded. Also, before I go today, I have to do this because I promised somebody I'd do this for the past couple of days, and I haven't done it. I'm sorry. But I want to make a suggestion to anybody. He made a suggestion for me, and, and vice. I'm going to do the same for him. I'm going to give him a shout-out. Um, Wild Billiam TM, I believe, is the name. I'm going to leave a uh, link over in the sidebar. Um, man, my fingers are, are off today. Link over in the sidebar. Um... He's, he's doing a lot of different videos. Pretty funny kid. Um, he just did a video that I really liked called Working Out at the Gym. Um, check that out. But, um, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to get, get subscribers from each other, trying to, to help each other out. So uh, check him out. And if you're one of his people, you know, thanks for checking me out. Um, yeah. Also, you know, uh, the show's Friday. So, you know, right after I stop talking... There's going to be a, a flyer. Check that. And uh, hopefully I'll see you at the show on Friday if you live in the Colorado area. Uh, peace out, kids.